Hey guys, Wild OBXT here, and today we're going to be installing a Diode Dynamics Flex LED strip into the ceiling, replacing the cargo light inside of the Outback. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick product walkthrough. So uh, the one th reason why I like this is you'll notice here there's a thing. I've already installed this in preparation for installing it in my Outback, but it comes with all these different uh, ends so um, you can replace it with a festoon bulb a regular socket or um, like I'm gonna do a 194 or 921 replacement so uh, the stock bulb in the trunk light for the Outback is a 194 and that's exactly what I'm gonna be replacing it with we're gonna flip the camera over so you can see what I'm talking about and we're gonna go from there Okay, just so I can orientate you guys here, um, you are now basically on the floor looking up. This is the cargo light that's going to get replaced. This light is right on the inside of the hatch. I do have a wilderness edition, so that means I do have the LED cargo light over here. Um, originally, I was going to put this flex light strip to replace that because, quite frankly, the light on the door... It's pretty piss poor and it's not replaceable. However, this one, as you can see, I've already replaced it with an LED. I've actually put a 921 bulb in there. It is significantly brighter than whatever was in here stock. However, I still don't find it bright enough um, because I'll be completely honest, I don't go camping and such as much. So I'm usually in um, somewhat decently lit area, okay? Uh, the beauty of this install, though, is because of the multiple ends that I mentioned previously on the end of the flex strip, is I could put it here, or if I really want, I could always rewire it and tap it into the power over there. The reason why I'm not doing that right from the get-go is because I found that if I put it on the hatch where the wilderness light is, I will tend to cast a shadow whenever I stand at the trunk doing stuff in the trunk. My goal here is to take it off of this, uh, sorry, replace this, run the wire inside so you don't see it, have the wire pop out here, and then actually adhere the flex strip right here. The flex strip itself does have an adhesive side to it. This is the LED side, this is the adhesive side. So the idea is that I would put the flex strip here, something like that, and hide the wire in the headliner and have it connected to this light here. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes and let's get started. Okay, so clearly I have now take, turned off the light um, and we are going to remove this top panel here. And I'm actually going to do two things. I'm going to remove this cover, which is easily come off, but I'm also going to see if it's possible that I can remove this housing because what I want to do is I want to hide all the wiring. Now, it looks like I'll be able to have a little bit of a gap. Actually, this headliner looks like it's adhered in. That's just fantastic. So I'm, I'm going to remove that bulb. And basically... We're going to test the flex strip here, so we're going to put this into the socket. And hopefully that is in. And then now we're just going to test this by turning it on. Hey, look, it works. Awesome. Okay, so I know that the flex strip is going to work, but now it is a matter of hiding it. So this panel here actually comes off pretty easy. I uh, just want to make sure you guys can see this. Just basically raise the weather stripping and yank straight down and this panel will actually just come right off. Okay. So now that I know that this works, it's going to be a matter of where I can wire it from. I'm going to take this. So as you can see, now that I've removed the panel, um, don't mind this wire. This wire is actually for my dash cam, which is right up here. So just ignore that. Not all outbacks will have that. And now I am looking and I can actually see that 
I would be able to remove this housing by undoing those clips. So... The clips, that black clip right here, and this black clip right here. And I can only assume there's other ones on the other side. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I have noticed that there's some white clips inside here, which I'm pretty used can be used to remove this. So let's give that a shot. Uh, just a little disclaimer, this is the first time I'm actually taking this housing piece out. So we're gonna see how that goes. There we go. All right, that's exactly what we want because I want this hole so I can hide the wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed the wire through. Feed it on this side here. Now I'm actually gonna utilize the hole that was there. Plug the flex strip back in. Uh, one more test to make sure it works. Nope, so that means I got the polarity wrong. Just gonna... Flip it around. Flip it back in. Another test. There we go. Okay, so I got the strip working. So now we're just going to snap this back in place and pull the excess wire. So Okay. So that is basically that. I'm gonna... So as far as we're concerned, with regards to this, I can snap this back on. And okay, and so that's basically how that's going to look. Um, obviously, there's not going to be a bulb in here anymore, but once you see the finished product, you'll appreciate why. Okay, so now that we have the lighting and uh, the socket out of the way. It's now time to place our diodynamic um, flex strip onto here. Just remember, um, this curved piece here is actually the part that's going to face the lift gate. And that means here, this side is going to be facing towards the cabin. And that is the side we want our flex strip on. Because ideally, our flex strip is going to be powered like this and the wire is going to be tucked in behind like this and you aren't going to be able to see much of the wire. So that's the plan. Um, the other thing is I'm going to also see this is beauty because I can just fold it like this. So the middle of the flex strip is going to be just on, it looks like to the left side of this diode here and beauty for us there, this is going to be the absolute center of this piece so all i'm going to do is line this up here and then we're going to stick it on but first i'm going to clean this piece so that there's nothing else on there and then we're going to adhere it on so um 
I actually just did the Expel install video for the door stills. So what I just sprayed it with was the leftover solution, which is basically a couple squirts of dish detergent and a lot of water. So just give that a few seconds to dry. And meanwhile, I am going to double check my work and make sure I know where the middle is. That's the middle, this is the middle. So my flex strip is literally going to sit right here. All right. Um, for the sake of the next step, and just for simplicity's sake, I might actually disconnect this, um, this wire just so it's easier to work with. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to not disconnect anything, and we're going to see how this turns out. So we're going to remove the adhesive here. Here is the moment of truth. Now you want to make sure that when you're removing it, you don't pull the adhesive with it. Um, but there we go. stuck in there okay so again just double checking my work uh, trying not to touch the adhesive the center piece is going to be right uh, beside this diode where my thumb is so this has to go Double and triple check, so this goes here. So that's basically dead center. And then we're just going to make sure that everything is aligned. And then push down. All right. Okay, so that's now stuck on. Um, unfortunately, they give you a white wire, which kind of sucks. But like I said, this is going to be essentially tucked behind here, like that. And then I'm going to hide the rest of the wire inside the headliner so no one sees it. So I am going to now flip the camera around and pop this trim piece back. And just to double check to make sure this works. Hey, look at that. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to button everything up. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to hide the wire as much as I can inside here. Now inside the heads liner here, um, you don't need to worry about, first of all, the wire is insulated. Second of all, um, you don't need to worry. There's just a lot of space up there. So I'm going to snap this back in place. And just make sure that uh, this wire is as well hidden as it could be. And I guess that is going to be roughly as good as it's going to get. I'm going to just move the camera over so you guys can actually see where the wire ends. And... So when you're putting this trim piece back, um, just you're gonna have to give it some squeezing but it all clips in and there you go and last but not least up here don't forget to put your weather stripping back over the trim piece so it can go all the way in
All right, and that's it. So now I just flip this door and now I got a bright LED strip here to illuminate my trunk instead of uh, a crappy bulb in here. And if I decide that I'm going to replace the wilderness trunk light that's on the lift gate, um, I will make another video for that. But other than that, this looks pretty damn good to me. It's even, it's in the middle. And uh, other than this white wire, um, it's uh, pretty clean. And that's my install video, guys. I hope you like it.